Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, the uh, 21st of August 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so stats for today, you certainly your European markets are negative. You certainly have the FTSE lingering around the 7320 zone, uh, although it did actually gap down. Uh, early morning, sub 7300. The German DAX certainly off its lows. The French CAC, FTSE MIB. Okay, again, uh, European markets certainly being helped by the talk of uh, Fiat, a potential Chinese bidder there. Also, Maersk and Total. Total are certainly buying Maersk assets now. Again, that's certainly MA certainly is helping European equities to a large extent. The euro just has taken a turn higher, which again is certainly exerting more pressure now on European equities. And that's certainly something to take into account. Okay, so this is where we basically stand at present, okay, in terms of the, the markets. Uh, we have North Korean concerns overnight, certainly hurting the actual sentiment. Although uh, we did have a bullish move post Bannon uh, departure, it certainly seems to have been quashed thus far. Okay, in terms of economic data, really overnight, nothing uh, really important in terms of market moving uh, other than the fact that we had the concerns over North Korea. Uh, Trump has changed his rhetoric, though, so that's certainly something to keep an eye on. Uh, the Chinese market certainly were higher. The Nikkei certainly was, it was negative. And we have had comments from the Bundesbank this morning uh, indicating stronger growth from Germany, and that certainly is helping to a large extent, although that has triggered the actual move in the euro higher as well. So let's bear that in mind. Okay, so we'll see how the European equities unfold. And again, Mr. Draghi is on tap this week. So again, central banks will take centre stage. German DAX, let's see exactly where we stand here. German DAX, from a technical perspective, daily chart, I have indicated that we do have an invert, inverted head and shoulders formation. So if Mr. Draghi does adhere to his dovish rhetoric, then obviously that will trigger the, uh, the actual German DAX higher. So again, take that into account. In terms of the 60-minute chart, let's just look at the 60-minute chart. German DAX is into support. Bear in mind, you do have an unfilled gap at 12.020. Do we close that gap or do we close a gap above at 12200 first? So it's about the gaps and let's see which way we uh, we actually move. In terms of the 10-minute chart, at the moment you are now potentially retesting that double bottom on the German DAX. Let's see if we can hold that and let's see how the market turns from there. Okay, so German DAX double bottom, or your unfilled gap above at 12160 and then you have the unfilled gap at 12200 as well. Those are the two gaps that we're attempting to navigate between. Okay, let's move on to the French CAC. Let's see exactly where the French CAC is at this uh, current juncture. French CAC are uh, basically no man's land on the 60-minute chart, daily chart. You do have a bottoming tail. Okay, so you have the bottoming tail now followed by Doji on the daily chart. So again, certainly something to watch out for. If Mr. Draghi is dovish, then we all know which way that's going. That's certainly higher. 60-minute chart, the French CAC is stuck between two gaps. You have the gap filled below at 5060. And you have a gap above at 5140. Which way will we go? Again, depends on Mr. Draghi. Keep an eye on the euro. The euro is now starting, starting to move higher on the back of Bundesbank comments. Again, indicating a higher euro and also indicating stronger growth for Germany. And therefore, that does tilt the uh, the central bank or the ECB towards a hawkish rhetoric. Uh, but ECB leaks thus far have said that Mr. Draghi is going to be dovish. If not, he's going to remain neutral, which again is dovish. Okay, so... Certainly something to consider which way you want to follow. Do you want to follow the leaks or do you want to actually follow actual data? For the Euro stocks, before I go on to the FTSE itself, Euro stocks is an important index. Again, like I said, helped by Fiat, helped by the auto industry to a large extent. Okay, you have the unfilled gap above, targeting at 3446. Okay, we have support below. Certainly just trading sideways. 60 minute chart certainly depicts that. Again, it's the bottom of the gaps, folks. Do we go lower on the back of a stronger euro and higher inflation and a hawkish draggy? Or do we go higher on a dovish draggy? So again, choose. You have to come to that conclusion yourself, okay? I can't make that for you uh, and neither can anybody else. It's how you interpret the markets and trade. Put your stop loss in. Allocate risk appropriately, okay? In terms of 10-minute chart, we've certainly closed a gap above. Uh, resistance remains and uh, Friday's high, okay? 7.330, that certainly has capped any uh, potential move higher. You're oscillating between the two. Oil prices have now started to move south. Copper is still remaining bullish. So again, certainly something to consider in terms of the FTSE. Let's see how uh, the US markets unfold. We do have the NASDAQ and the S&P certainly coming into potential support, looking to bounce. Let's see how that unfolds. Okay, so that's where the FTSE 100 stands. Certainly attempting to build a base around that 7300 zone. 
Let's see if it can build a base. Let's see if it can, can actually start to move high on the daily chart. Certainly is depicting that as well with this potential doji and a bottoming tail. Okay, I think that's a good summation really of uh, the uh, the actual uh, markets for Europe. Let's see how the uh, US markets unfold. And that will certainly uh, provide direction for European markets too. Keep an eye on the uh, sterling uh, and also keep an eye on, on the euro as well. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye.